Okay, hey everybody, it's Kathy Keynes here, and I am actually just finishing up trying to pack up all the goodie bags from the launch last week. And um, I kind of got to thinking about one of my make and take cards that we had done. So these are the three make and take cards. And it's this one used the Daisy Punch from Stampin' Up. And this one used one of my favorite stamp sets called Magical Mermaid. And this one here uses the Colorful Seasons. And I created this background here with, um, I used some of my refill ink from Stampin' Up. So this refill ink is just uh, theoretically used to, when your stamp, um, pads when your stamp pads are too not stamping properly you use this to refill your pads but a lot of people now are using it to watercolor because it's perfect ink because it's water based anyway so when I did this background I just put a drop on my block and I used an aqua painter pen now I can't see you because I don't really have the best camera setup, but I use my aqua painter pen, also called a water brush and other brands, and I just picked up some of the ink and went across the watercolor paper. So it's really important to have watercolor paper, and I wait it for that to dry. So that what color is that? That's Pacific Point. So that's kind of how that worked out. I think that was tempting turquoise, that one. But I kind of got to thinking, like, what if people don't buy the refill ink? Like, I normally wouldn't buy the refill ink, except that I do do this kind of thing. Um, I also use my markers, like, on the plane. I'm always watercoloring. Many of you people who follow along know that I do a lot of cards with watercoloring, and a lot of that is on the go. Here's my container of markers in current. So I'm looking for a nice juicy one. So this is a nice juicy one. So if I were on a plane or wherever, I would just go across like this and I would just smooth out that ink from the marker. Now sometimes, let me see if I can find one. Sometimes it doesn't work out so nicely. So that is the ink. That is the marker. Sometimes you'll find that it's, if the marker is old, you'll see the line. So this one here, you probably can't see, but on this tip here, it's a bit frayed. My daughter would do this if she was here. So this one's a bit frayed. So I'm betting that if I tried to spread this out, you could still see the lines. Yeah, you can. So that's the difference. Sometimes if your marker is old and not getting a lot of ink out, you'll see some of those lines. So if you're trying to use that technique with watercoloring with your Stampin' Up! markers, then you need new markers. <laughs> now a lot of people get in life by opening it up. Uh, I'm really not sure how to do that, but some people do get more life by doing that. So that's the difference between a good marker, a new fresh marker, and that's an old, okay? So that's two ways to do your watercolor backgrounds. There's lots of other pens that you can use. But, and you can use a regular paintbrush. So if you don't have an aqua painter, you can use a paintbrush. Let's see. I could do that now, I guess. So here's my paintbrush. I do have some water. This is going to be a little tricky, but I have some water here. You just pick up the water, pick up the ink. Same as if you were going to use that aqua painter, okay? It just skips a step. That's all. So you don't have to buy this fancy pen if you want to do a water colored wash. And it doesn't matter. You can use dollar store um, paint brushes. It really doesn't matter. It's really easy and it doesn't take long to dry. So, but what I will show you today is I kind of got to thinking when I send out this make and take for people to do, I, I'm not going to do this wash for you. I want you to do it. And one of the easiest and cheapest ways is to use your Crayola markers. So you're gonna do this exact same thing. Now I'm assuming this is a fresh marker, although I really don't know. 
you're gonna do the same thing. Yeah, you can tell it's not a fresh marker. See there? Sometimes it's the paper. So that's not a fresh marker. Same thing happened with that Crayola. But I know, I did this one earlier with the Pipsqueak, and I know that it works out nice. So that's using the Pipsqueak that I know is brand new. My daughter just had a birthday party, and we, um, I had a big sign that says we believe in unicorns where they can uh, draw the whole time. So all I'm doing now is whoops, putting some ink on and I'm going to spread it out like a wash. See how nice that is? So if you're at home and you have limited supplies and you still want to do that wash, literally all you need is a cheap paintbrush. Um, a pipsqueak marker, a new marker, you know, a, a fresh one, and uh, some water. That's all you need. So if you're one of the lucky ones that's getting some of that make and take, I'm going to point you to this video that says, use your Crayola markers. And I'm going to tell you another couple things. I don't know if you've been following along with Kelly Clapstein's um, calligraphy. She has a special group now. Um, doing brush lettering and one of the things that you know it's a little bit hard because there's different types of Crayola markers but you can learn brush lettering just by using Crayola markers so I mean you still have to kind of follow along the same techniques I am NOT the best at it but you know you still you hold it up a little bit higher and you still press when you're coming down and up and down. I'm really not very good at this, but she is. So you can follow along with her. Brush, let's see if I can do it. Oh, she would say, Kathy, you're holding the pen or the marker too close to the nib and I will say yes I know I can't help it I do love watching people so you can kind of learn and do a lot of things with just a simple Crayola marker so I just wanted to hop on today while I hid away from my family and just show you those things. And here is that marker again. Check it out. So that's using these, this, this, and then this is with the refill ink. I went a little heavy on that one. Check it out. Nice, huh? All right. Well, have a good night. Bye. Oh, actually, you probably can't really see that. Maybe you couldn't see the brush lettering. There you go. So use your Crayola markers to create a watercolor wash. Have fun. Bye.